Hey, what's up? It's Philip from uh, Easy Unreal, and today I want to show you the faster and uh, better way to import in a Sketchfab. Uh, I'm uh, doing this because I got saved from the uh, USP 45 masters, so thank you very much for this tip, and I just want to make a video about it to share it with you guys. This will be particularly helpful if you have a model with many meshes around and you need to connect the materials uh, with the models. And if you have uh, like uh, 50 meshes, you need to go every time, just like like I uh, show in the last video, but today I'll show you how to import it uh, instantly and without any hassle. Okay, the first thing uh, we want to do is to download this model over here. Okay, to do that, uh, we will download this model. What we want to do is to download this GLTF format. And when we are downloaded, what I like to do is just right click on it, 7-zip and extract it to over here to the folder and it will extract the folder. And I like to drag and drop the folder without even going inside the folder is the fastest and don't worry about this uh, txt and bin extensions I'll just hit import and it will be fine and the import is done and if i go inside you can see how many uh, meshes this is this is um, before i need to connect all these textures to these meshes and it's just plain I don't want to say stupid, but it's just time, time, time waste, complete. I like to do over here uh, is go to filter by static mesh. You can go and filters and over here you can click static mesh and material, for example, like this. And it will just, you can turn it off and turn it on for the static mesh. And we want everything from here. Just control A. You want to drag and drop it to your level. Uh, you, you can see it, it's a little small. I go the focus. And what I want to do is to go to actor, go to merge, click merge, and for example, type in train and wait the process uh, to finish merging your actors. And when the merge is done, just hit delete and it will delete your uh, model, but we can now drag our model however we want and just scale it up. And as you can see, we have a nice textured model right away over here without any problems, without any hassle, you can see that all the materials are on their places and everything works just perfect. So you can just drag and drop your trains over here and make some nice uh, train yard or something like that. And this is it. If you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below. I also prepared 75 tips and tricks for you in on my channel. So you can check that uh, out if you want to learn more and be faster and see in some other video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.